married. So, okay, getting married and then mm -hmm. pivoting and relocating halfway across the world. Can you give us some insight on that? Some challenges you all may have faced and rehoming your mm -hmm. pets. I, to me, that would be a big challenge. I don't even have pets, but, you know, in college, I had a cat and the cat has since passed, but that was hard. Like, so mm -hmm. I can imagine you having two cats and have him having a dog and you all having to like rehome your animals because you can't take it to, to the country that you're going. So what were some of the challenges? Yeah, but it's going to be expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 <laughs> that makes yeah. Sense. It was a whole, whole, you know, like 10 grand. Oh no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> so going back to, um, Moving abroad, I grew up, my father was in the army. And so we moved a lot. I, you know, lived in Germany as a child and went to school there for a bit. And I always knew I wanted to move abroad. Okay. And so even when I was teaching in the classroom, there was a point um, after my divorce when I was looking at, okay, hmm, my son and I can go abroad and I can teach abroad, and he can see the world, um, and so I was actively kind of looking at that, and mm -hmm. I was teaching English online to kids in China, and then I started teaching online to adults around the world, because that was more my speed, teaching the adults, not mm -hmm. the kids, um, and so I got my first admin job, and so I got, uh -huh. and so they trap you with money, mm -hmm. and so I, you know, became an assistant principal and a principal, but the idea of moving abroad never, never left. It was always on my mind, but I was 10 years away from retirement. You know, my son was going to be entering high school soon. And I thought what everybody thinks, like, I'll wait until I retire. Right. I'll wait until my kid graduates from high school. Wait, wait, wait mm -hmm. to start living. Um, mm -hmm. And so when I met um, my husband, we talked about that as, as well because he travels and he was on board with the retirement or the high school, right. you know, waiting to move abroad. But the way things were in education, things were hard. Mm -hmm. um, and I found myself asking, why should I wait? And mm -hmm. he asked me, he was like, what are, what are we waiting for? Like you could get a job anywhere overseas right. and I work remotely, so wherever you go, I'm going. Um, okay. So okay. what are we waiting on? And I was like, really? And he's like, and so I started looking and here I am. I mean, really, it was really that simple. Like we just made a decision that we were going to go ahead and do it. And so then I started applying, applying and interviewing, interviewing, found a spot. Mm -hmm. um, and then we started the process. I sold my house, sold everything in it. We, you know, rehomed. Luckily, he has um, a friend who was able to take his dog in. So when he visits the States, he can go see her, although she's not really trying to mess with him like that anymore. She Understood. She feels abandoned. I, I... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a little, a, little, a little salty about that when he went to see her. <laughs> You're like, what did you expect? I mean... Yeah. Animals are very intelligent. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so yeah, yeah, we just, we made the decision and that's kind of how I am. Like when I make a decision, then, you know, compliments of a mediocre white man. I'm okay. Let's go. You're like, I can do it. I just go click some buttons, apply. I'm gonna get it. Cause as I'm me, you're right. Yeah. If more black women move through life with that level of confidence, with the skill that we've acquired, because we've been told right. we have to work harder, yes. we'd be running the show. That's, Yes, we would. 